Welcome back, Vintage Down into the S. Today we are taking on a special project, restoring the hair of a number one Ken. Our Ken has lost all his hair, but we are going to give him a fresh new look by reflocking his head with new hair. Let's get started. I'm Busy B from Germany and this is my little channel. First, let's gather all the material we need for this project. Here's the material we need. We have here our can without hair, our pencil, my glue, my acrylic paint, my flocking material, my applicator, my paintbrush and my palette. So before we start, we have to prepare the head a little bit, you see. He has still some rests left from his former hair on his head and we remove this first. It's the easiest way by scraping it off with your nails. It's not super pleasant. If you want to understand the difference between a 1961 and a 1962 version of the flocked hair can, please have a look at my shorts video, which I'm going to link you above. For getting the last pieces of hair off, I use scouring cream. And it was a very, very fast method. So the last time I did this, I found it very helpful to do this first, put the blocking fibers in my applicator with this little sheet of paper. Let's start by mixing glue and color together, but I have to Add a little bit of water here. Let's add the glue here. And then we paint on his head.
And now let's add the flocking material. Let's let him dry. He's still wet. Here's a little bonus tip for you. If you want to get the excess off, you can use this piece of paper and scrape as much of the excess hair off as you can. And then you can put it in this little container again. And use it another time, so you save literally the fibers for the next time. And you can see a lot of this stuff comes off. If you see excess paint somewhere, you can remove it by scraping it away with a needle. See he has a little bit on top of his ear and we are going to remove this. By simply scraping it away so that you have a clean head afterwards. And now I still need to do some repainting because his, his eyebrow is uh, damaged and I want to retouch the eyebrow here a little bit. And I've already prepared my wet palette for this. And we're done. And there you have it. Our number one can doll now has a fresh new head of hair looking as good as new. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel inspired to try reflocking your own vintage dolls. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more restoration tips and projects. Thanks for watching. Here's a little tip. If you have painted somewhere where you don't want to paint, just remove the excess paint with a needle after it's dried.